Hey, it's Laura Stabs with Hot 97, and I'm so excited to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month with Hennessy. And we're here at the Institute of Culinary Education with the amazing Chef Mike. What are we doing today? I hear you love enchiladas. I do. All right, so we're gonna go back in the kitchen. Okay. We're gonna whip up some enchiladas, just like your mom used to make. I'm excited. But listen, we have to finish it off with a Hennessy cocktail. That would be a party. We need a party. We need a party. All right, so let's go. Right, let's, let's get go. to work. Every Sunday, my mom would make sure we get family, friends over, and my mom would blast the music and she would kick me out. So growing up, my mom did most of the cooking, but she would definitely kick me out of the house after I helped her with prep. So she would have me chop a couple of things up and be like, all right, you're done. Reason is because she didn't want me being a distraction. She wanted to make sure that everything was perfect when it came to her dish. First step, chef. What are we All doing? Right. So the first step we're gonna do is actually make a marinade, right? Okay. Dry toast some uh, dried chilies here. So we're gonna add a little chicken stock. You're gonna add a little bit of chipotle in our bowl, Mexican oregano. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, my pinches are no, small. No okay. problem. I'm gonna take the stems off. Hmm. Right. I'll do that. Just a little bit. Okay. All right. Right inside, and a little bit of sugar. Uh. That we're gonna season, and we want to season this heavy. You know, season it well. And oh, we're gonna get awesome. this marinade right over that. Normally, do we leave it marinating like, overnight, or do you? You do can. You... Oh, you right just pour the, the whole pot. thing in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why get rid of that? And we want to char the onions too a little bit, right on the okay. grill. Hold right like there. this? Just yeah, hold. just hold oh, right wow, like okay. that. We want to char them off right there, and you can hear them right when they get on Ooh, that. Onion. Onions are gonna go right chicken in there. Chicken stock, right? A little bit of chicken okay, stock. I remember we're this. All right, to that guy. A little bit of salt. A pinch. Pinch. In here, All right? Yeah. Kind of deliciousness right in there. Oh, that's it's so kind fresh. Of chunky. So now it's time to make the magic happen, have everything come together. I'm All excited right. about this. We're excited. All right, so I'm gonna right. just watch you. I'm stepping All back. Right. <laughs> one for me, one for that's you, right. you know? <laughs> All right. Carry in fish, chicken, shrimp, shrimp. right over the top. We toasted out the tortillas. <laughs> and since we have a little bit of heat, we wanna put a little bit of crema. I love right. that the crema balances it out. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Very good. Oh, my God, so good. I hope it's as good as your mom's. Oh, it totally is. Yeah. I'm not going to tell her that. No, don't tell her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But it totally is. I can taste all the, oh, all the smoky flavors. It's delicious. Definitely. <laughs> you killed it. We rocked it. Now, time for drinks. What an amazing way to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Now, we just finished making some incredible enchiladas. Now, I can't tell my mom about them because they were just as good as hers. Mm. But just to top that off, what better way than finding a cocktail that's gonna blend perfectly with the entire recipe. So we have Henry here with us representing Hennessy. Yes. So happy you're here with us. Glad to be here. And we have Tomas, yes. master mixologist, <laughs> also representing Hennessy. And I'm so excited because I see some ingredients that are right up my alley. So what do you have cooking up for us today? All right, so we were talking before, and you, you were giving me some inspiration through stories about your grandmother. Right, right, right. And how she would make this tea for you right. when you were a kid. So I took that information, and I created a hibiscus syrup. So this is so cool. So no matter your background, moms always have a home remedy that they stick to no matter what. And mine was Jamaica. So my mom, whenever I would get sick, she would always boil up some hibiscus, some Jamaica, and make a tea. It didn't matter if I had a sore throat, if I had a headache, it was a Jamaica tea for anything. So it was really cool that Tomas included this in the Hennessy cocktail. This is perfect. This totally brings me back home. So we have some hibiscus syrup. And then we're gonna roll in to some citrus, so with lemon. Yum, okay. And I've got some mole bitters. Mm. Wow. Yeah. All right, so this is this so is I know, I know I know where you're going, okay, okay. And, and, and this is going to be my answer. Okay. And then, of course, Hennessy VSOP. All right. So let's get started. Okay, 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 okay. I'm excited. All right, so we're going to start off with our lemon. Okay. Here, grab one of these. Pass, one pass down. it down. And we're going to squeeze some lemon juice. Stick this sucker in here. Face down. Okay. Go ahead and squeeze that into the glass. That's gonna be our citrus, our sour to the cocktail. So what we're going for is mm. balance. Just like your enchiladas. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so with this Jamaica syrup, okay. uh, it's, I used uh, obviously dried Jamaica, made a tea, 
and threw in a little bit of canela in there. Oh, nice. So okay. really rolling with the ingredients. Oh, really? that yeah. Some had, cinnamon? Yeah. Okay, I can, so, I can actually smell it from here. So we're only pouring no half point. an ounce. Okay. So go ahead and pour half an ounce. See? You know, Grandma really used that canela too, man. Yeah. On yeah. everything, please. It's yes. different. It, it's, <laughs> now we're going to just add a few drops. When I say a few, the reason why we're using Hennessy VSOP, it's got a nice, smooth, round finish to it. But the body, full, ripe apricot. It's going to be nice with the nice blend with the the Hamica syrup. See, now I gotta call it Hamica. Yeah, I, gotta, I, I, gotta, I know, I, I, I gotta come correct, right? My grandma would be proud. No, I gotta come correct. All right, so. Pour from there. Okay. Thank you. We're pouring an ounce and a half. All right. When you're making cocktails at home, always pour in the spirit last no. in case you mess up along the way. Right? Okay, because so you could always add a little extra if you need to. Exactly. Got it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give you some ice. Let's put that top on. Okay. You want one of the sides to be flat. Okay, hold on. That'll help you. So let's set it on the table. Let's go ahead and just give it a tap and create that seal. Hold the bottom so you got it more secure. Okay. Yeah, there okay. you go. Now let's give it a shake. Yeah, what you want to do is you want to get it nice and cold, but you also want to be able to dilute the ingredients a little. Now that we got that nice and cold, go ahead and take your strainer. Got it. Let's put that on the top. Just like that? Just like yep. that. And go ahead and pour it into your glass. Clearly I'm a rookie. Yeah. Okay. So hold it like this. Rolling. Yeah. And we pour it in. All right. All right. Let's just shake that around a little, level it out there. All right. So a cocktail isn't a cocktail without the finishing touch. So let's go ahead and, Henry, let's go ahead and top that off. Ooh, what do we have here? What is this? So this is a Hamica flower that's okay. been Soaked in syrup. That's going to give us our beautiful visual. There you go. Oh, this is so simple, and it smells amazing. What do so, we call this cocktail? Oh, what should we call it? You should name it. Um, can we call it the Estilo? Estilo, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, the Estilo. So cheers to let's, let's cheers to Hispanic Heritage Month because this brings us back home. Reminds me of family. Reminds Come me on. of you know those. Backyard parties with a yes. little refreshing drink. So, yes. cheers. Cheers to Hispanic Heritage cheers. Month, cheers. guys. Cheers. Salud. 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 Oh, that's good. Wow. Great.